Hey everyone, welcome back to Nintendo Prime. Now before we jump into this video, we got some big stories for you. Six of them. We got Zelda, we got Metroid, we got Mario. We have ho -ho, a big bevy of news. Before we dive in though, I want to remind you that we are giving away a Nintendo Switch, Tears of the Kingdom, Switch OLED Edition. Pretty neat. We're also giving away a pin from PAX East and a Collector's Edition, which I don't have on hand because it hasn't released yet. If you guys would like to enter, head down to the pin comment or to the description. Click on the link. We're drawing the winners this Friday on May 12th. And you know what, folks? Let's get into the news. <laughs> First up, Nintendo is doing a giveaway. You know, we got our giveaway. They have theirs. They are giving away, hmm, a sweepstakes entry at the My Nintendo website that you can enter up to three times. It's 10 platinum points per entry for a Tears of the Kingdom prize pack. Now this Tears of the Kingdom prize pack includes a Nintendo Switch carrying case. It includes the hardcover collector's edition guide book, which we recently talked about. It also includes huh, a one terabyte micro SD card, a custom Zelda controller, which I believe is a Power A controller. I don't think it's a Switch Pro controller, but I guess I don't know 100% because they don't provide the full details on it. Oh, and by the way, they give away a glass like etched statue thingy of the broken Master Sword that looks absolutely incredible. All the rest of the stuff in this giveaway pack you can actually purchase except for that. And I think that that glass etched thing is a big deal because if you actually look at the full details of the giveaway, they estimate an over $2,400 USD value on this giveaway. That's huge because the rest of that stuff, I mean, a couple hundred bucks, you get all of that, but not the giant glass thing. That must be a one of a kind custom made thing. And I'm assuming it's, it's huge. I mean, like here's the, the OLED box. I mean, it's probably at least this big, if not bigger. So yeah, I don't know guys, that's just something that Nintendo is doing. And now we can move on to our next story. We'll have links down in the description, by the way, to enter that sweepstakes. Now here we have a rumor for you guys coming right off of the rumor mill. This one comes from Zippo. He's a much maligned leaker out there. Sometimes right, sometimes wrong. I don't really know, but he's talking and speaking my language. So I figured we'd talk about it here. He says four Mario games are done and Nintendo is sitting on them. He doesn't know when they're going to come out, but here are the four games he says are just done and waiting. One of them is a brand new 2D side-scrolling Mario game. Okay, somewhat believable. We've had rumors on that before. One is a remaster of Paper Mario Thousand Year Door. Again, apparently done. One is a Mario sports game that he heavily suggests is like Mario Sluggers, a baseball game. Okay, that's possible. And the other is a Sonic and Mario at the Olympic Games or Mario Sonic at the Olympic Games that they're just sitting on that as well. Now that one could obviously be timed to be more around like Winter Olympics, so it could be understandable why maybe they're sitting on that one, but it's kind of interesting that Nintendo would be sitting on all four of these. Remember, Nintendo's slate dries up entirely after Pikmin 4, besides DLC, so they gotta have some games coming, and maybe some of these Mario games are it. Maybe they're saving them for their next platform. Why we don't know about these, I don't know. We've had rumors for at least a year now that Nintendo is just sitting on a bunch of games, and Zippo's claiming it's these four. I guess we'll see if that's the case. I don't know. Someday this year? Next year? I don't even, like, how do you prove a rumor like this? You just, if all the games happen, I guess he was right. But then if they're sitting on it, like, wouldn't it matter when they come out? Look, I don't know. It's a thing. It's floating out there. Figured I'd bring it up. Next up, we have to talk about this thing right here. Not because we're giving one away, although we are, but because this thing has caused a surge of sales in the UK. We now have April sales data in for the Nintendo Switch. And while it is still in number two slot behind PlayStation 5, it actually saw a 26% increase in sales in April over March and a 30% increase in sales over April of last year. Now, what also ended up making up a majority of those sales? This thing, that's right, 29% of all Switch sales were the Nintendo Switch Zelda Edition OLED. So needless to say, that did help boost sales at least for a singular month. Won't be surprised if it helps boost sales a bit this month, if there's more out there as the Zelda game launches. But yeah, that's a thing that happened. And look, uh, the Switch is going to be in decline. Furukawa let us know yesterday that he doesn't really see any way to turn the switch around it's going to just keep declining and he's probably right we are in the swan song years of the switch the end of the line 
uh, probably time for a new system, but who the hell knows when that's going to come. So for now, let's just enjoy Tears of the Kingdom coming out this Friday, because that's what matters in the here and now. We have a bit of news from Hollow Knight Silk Song, and unfortunately, it's not the news you probably wanted to hear, or maybe you did, because there is always a silver lining to news like this, and that is because Hollow Knight Silk Song has been delayed. Previously, it was shown at a Microsoft event last June, and they said everything at this event's coming out in the next year, and Hollow Knight Silk Song was surprisingly announced there. Well, here's the thing. We got some notes here coming from uh, Twitter from Matthew Griffin, who handles marketing and publishing for the game. He said on Twitter, hey gang, just a quick update about Silk Song. We had planned to release in the first half of 2023, but development is still continuing. We're excited by how the game is shaping up, and it's gotten quite big. So we want to take the time to make the game as good as we can. Expect more details from us as we get closer to release. Of course, he didn't mention how long that delay is going to be, but it is a delay. It is unfortunate. Obviously, we'd rather a delayed game happen and get a better product in the end. A lot of people think Sports Story last year should have been delayed for a better product. But what are you going to do? Eventually, a game does have to come out. And uh, it just seems like every time we get a smidge of news about Hollow Knight, it just seems to be how it's not coming out. It's very weird. So uh, here's some random fact for you. Breath of the Wild uh, just got a new award, apparently, from GQ Magazine. Uh, that's right, that men's health magazine, or is it a fashion magazine? I don't know. I've never read a GQ magazine. But the point is they put out a top 100 video games of all time list, which apparently was based on 200 experts. We don't know who those experts were. Uh, and Breath of the Wild was number one. I mean... Seriously, Breath of the Wild was number one. It beat out Last of Us, which was number two, the very first one. Uh, we It beat out Tetris at number three, Bloodborne at number four, and Witcher 3 at number five. Now, that top five is a pretty banger list, but man, like seeing Breath of the Wild number one after all these years is crazy, especially since we're hopeful that Tears of the Kingdom is an even better game. So, hey man, congrats to Breath of the Wild, and let's get into our next story. So our last story comes from Nate Drake over on the Family Boards, and it deals with Metroid Prime 4. Now, I want to put a caveat out there about this before I read what he posted last night. I actually heard from a source a couple of months ago that Metroid Prime 4 is done. I never really put it out there, but my friend Andres Restart definitely did, and I want to give full credit to him for reporting on it, so I'll link to his video down below. But yeah, uh, Metroid Prime 4 is done. That's a game that Nintendo is reportedly sitting on. That's what I have heard. Well, Nate Drake has come out to talk about a few things, and I want to make sure I quote him correctly because it's context matters. And here's what he put out there. He's a well-known leaker out on Family Boards. I do know of unannounced stuff slated for this year. I'd suspect we see Prime 4 no later than September of this year if the fiscal year remains the intended target. If the game moves beyond that, then they could opt to hold it for an early 2024 direct. Now, when someone asked him if this was just speculation or something he's heard, he said it's more of the former with a bit of the latter, essentially meaning that he's heard it's coming out this fiscal year, and then he's speculating on when that might be. So, hey guys, like, that's pretty cool. Obviously, it could be delayed. They could push it. They could decide to launch up New Harbor. They could do a lot of crazy things. Uh, but it sounds like Metroid Prime 4 could be a big deal for this year. If I just had to guess, I don't think they would push this as their big game to come out like this holiday, but who knows? Uh, we did get Metro Prime Remaster just randomly dropped, so Metro Prime 4 coming out in the same year does make a little sense. I would like to see 2 and 3 before that, but you know, it doesn't appear that's going to be happening anyways anytime soon. So you guys let me know what you think about all this news down in the comments below, whether it's Zelda, whether it's Metroid, whether it's Mario. How the hell did we get news about all three things in the one video? Beats the hell out of me. Sometimes uh, the news just comes as the news does. Thank you so much for tuning in, and I'll catch each and every one of you in the next video. Yeah.